Okay, hi everybody, Super Bay Johnny here. I'm now on a bus. And I'm passing through this area here is called 164 Barrio Barreto. If you look to the right side of the aircraft, you will see the coffee shop restaurant. Very, very popular here in the Barrio Barreto area. Good food. Try the tacos. Everybody who tries the, the jumbo tacos loves them. And now we're proceeding back on the journey, passing through Barrio Barreto. Not much really happens here during the daytime. A lot of beauty parlors around and little grocery stores. Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, you gotta hit Dunkin' Donuts up here now and then. You see that sign we just passed? Cebuana. That's a pawn shop. And they also have money transfer and stuff like that. REO. Retired Activities Office. Stop by. If you're retired, you can hook up and get your mail there. You have to join, I think it's like five or 6000 a year. Check it out. Don't cost us to check it out. Okay, like I said, we are now passing through beautiful Barrio Barreto. Spent a lot of time here. That's Barreto's Fine Meats. Nice. They got some really good meat there. Check it out. And then they also got some other important stuff there. Meat, cheese, stuff like that. There's Angel's Bakery. Passing Alaska Bar, Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's is now 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. They're not going to let up. They're going to push hard. There's Rosie's and Johansson's. Johansson's is also another one 24 hours a day. Nice rooms in Johansson's for the budget-minded uh, traveler. Go there, ask to talk to Vanjie if she's available. Be glad you did. Good food. Okay, still proceeding on our journey here. We're about to leave the Barrio Barreto or Longapo area. In the next place we pass them by will be Subic. They call this area St. Thomas, St. Thomas or something like that. And the local people call it Sawmill. So we cross this bridge right here. We are now in Subic. Subic Zambales. San Ysidro is down that road there. This is a little market area type thing, places. Get some fast food. Jolly Bee is right across the street. And we're about to be right here by Santa Monica subdivision. See, there's where Santa Monica is right there. Nice place. Used to have a lot of flooding there. I don't know now. Because they've been working on the, the drainage system a lot. So, hopefully they got that all fixed up, you know, because look at that boy, he's got a long piece of PVC pipe, huh? Okay, that road there, that's called the Subic Bypass Road. If you don't want to go down National Highway, you can turn there, and you will eventually get to Subic. So, that's a good thing. And this area here, this is called Matayan. Not really a big tourist area. Not much here. No, it's... If we keep going down the road here, we will eventually get down by White Rock Beach Resort. You'll have to turn off on the, at the 7-Eleven. Now, in this area here, it's very, very prone for flooding. See those big pipes there? 
they're putting new drainage in, like I said. They're, they're working on it, they're trying to fix the problem, which is good. That was just Bingo's Bakery we passed by. It is no longer in operation, so don't go down there wasting your time. It's not open no more. Closed. Closed forever. And the road we're traveling down is National Highway. So, when you ride these buses, you stop, let passengers on, or let them on, you know, it's on and off. That's what's so slow. If I'm in a big hurry, from Alangapo, down to Castaleo, San Antonio, places like that, I will jump on a victory liner. Victory Liner won't get you there faster. You know, Victory Liner don't mess around, that's for sure. Like I was saying, this area here, this area floods. I mean, they, they try their best. They build their little stores uh, up higher, but this area is not really, really good for for the people living here. It's always muddy. Well, you can see that. It's muddy right now. Anyway, not a whole lot going on today. I'm just uh, taking a bus. I really enjoy taking a bus, really. You know, it's... Especially if it's going to be, like, long distance. You really get to enjoy the countryside, you know. You see things you don't see in the city. In these little rural areas, they're all pretty neat. Yeah. I think this is Calapac 1 now. The fact is, I'm pretty, pretty sure it is. Not too many foreigners are living here in this area, but... Well, you, you can look and see why. I mean, you got that. What do you want me to tell you? I'm not telling you something you can't see. But they do got nice houses. This place here always has for rent. Every here, it's really close to Barrio Barreto. I've actually walked from Barrio Barreto to this area here. Took a while. But like I said, I walked it. Alright. We're just trudging down. See how many Cebuanas you've seen? I've seen like three or four so far. You got more branches than 7 Eleven. It's been raining here in this area. You see, you'll see people with uh, their umbrellas. Would I live in this area? Eh, probably not. Why? It's not my style. I like living near the mall or the town. See the bus? That guy standing there with his white shirt, he's the one that collects the money. There's the Coca-Cola bottling uh, distribution center. They don't make Coca-Cola there, they just distribute it. Oh, there's a beer truck. Red Horse, San Miguel. Actually, that's a pretty good business here in the Philippines. Wholesale, liquor, beer, soft drinks, bar supplies. 
Like I said, that's a pretty good little business. Because it's all cash. It's none of this credit. Credit will hurt you. Okay, we're now we're bound for Subic City. Official name, Kalapendayag. Okay. That white wall there that used to have lots and lots of advertisements. But over the years, it just faded away and they decided to paint it white. And you can see the white paint isn't lasting, but it's all good. Civic City used to be a very, very party town when the military was here, U.S. military. Some of you guys can remember. I remember jumping in a jeepney and telling special Subic City. You don't hear that term very much nowadays. Special jeepney? I haven't heard it in years. That's where you buy every seat on the jeepney. And us military guys, we used to do that. You know. Yeah, this Calipan died right here. This used to be, like I said, a lot of bars. There's a bar right here called Chiquitita, upstairs. Very popular with the Filipino crowds. They do have uh, dancers, but a Filipino bar is very, very different than a U.S. bar. Well, than a military bar or a tourist bar. Because in a bar frequented by foreigners, usually there's more than five girls on the stage. In a Filipino bar, usually there's only one lady dancing on stage. And just some local knowledge so you don't get shocked if you go there. In this area here, Calipin 9, use the buddy system, please. Don't be roaming around at night time. I'm not saying it's a bad area, but I'm saying just be careful. You know, it's there's another Cebuana there. That's like five. There's a gas station there. They get a lot of services at that station. And pretty soon we'll be hitting Subic Town. Subic Town is not Subic City. It's not California. It's Subic Town proper. That's where they got the market and the police and the fire department and the mayor and all that. So, this Calipan Dying, it's only a barangay. This is a little rural area, you know. Okay, we're about, uh, where are we at now? We're almost to BPI. If you're a foreigner over here in the Philippines, let's say you want to withdraw money. Usually, I don't know about your ATM, your ATMs or your credit cards, but usually the local ones will charge you two dollars, uh, two pesos, two hundred fifty pesos. Okay, let me get that straight. Two hundred fifty pesos for a transaction for ten thousand pesos. BPI will give you. 20,000 for 250. I know some people are going to say, well, my bank re gives me back all my refunds, all my transaction fees. Well, that's great, but some people it doesn't. So, it's the less you got to give the ATM, the better. Oh, John.